Hello everyone. In this episode, we're going to talk about Godzilla versus King Ghidorah in 1991. A one hour, 43 minute action adventure released December 14th, 1991 in Japan. Here's the storyline. Time travelers use Godzilla and Hiroshima to destroy Japan to prevent the country's future economic reign. Directed by Kazuki Amori, Koji Hamashido, and Kamajun Ishida. Now, this movie was probably, in my opinion, one of the weirdest of the franchise. Yes, um, I was told by a co-worker about King Ghidorah being an alien. Well, that's quite not true. King Ghidorah was created from these three little creatures that was on quote quote spaceship but it's actually a time machine. They left it on the island in 1944 when Godzilla was a dinosaur. When the dinosaur got near the H-bomb it turned into Godzilla. So technically Godzilla was a dinosaur first. And I was told he was a lizard. So that's a little misconstru misconstrued as well. Basically what it is, is you have this flying saucer slash time machine. They come to Japan in 1992. And they trick the Japanese that they can go back to 1944 to get rid of Godzilla, period. Because they say that eventually Godzilla is going to destroy Japan. And... So they went and did this. I'm telling you, this is one of the weirdest movies that I've seen of the Godzilla franchise. I'm not a fan of King Ghidorah. I don't know why, I'm just not. So, they end up realizing that these time travelers from 2204 AD, their goal was to get rid of Godzilla, bring in King Ghidorah, destroy Japan, so it won't be a powerhouse in the future. Crazy fucking movie. Now Godzilla now comes back. Dinosaur that was on the island, believe it or not, comes back to life as Godzilla. So it's whether Godzilla saves Japan or Godzilla's the enemy of Japan like it always is. So they decide to bring King Ghidorah back to get fight Godzilla, which is kind of weird. But it ends up that nobody wins. They end up taking the dinosaur Godzilla back to the ocean, drops to the bottom, and so forth. So again, this is a really fucking weird ass Godzilla movie. That being said, there this movie did cause some controversy, as I read, and I will read it to you guys. Here's the scope of it. Time travelers from the 23rd century have turned to 1992 to warn Japan that Godzilla will cause a catastrophic nuclear incident in the 21st century and suggest a way to get rid of the world of him forever. They had intend to go back to 1944 to Regos Island where a dinosaur was exposed to radiation from the H-bomb test which became Godzilla. That's the myth of the story. Now there was a controversy like I did in tell you about. This movie became one of the most controversial Godzilla movies. Shortly after the film's release in Japan, CNN in America ran a lengthy story about the film being an anti-American and showed scenes of U.S. soldiers being killed. And the plot featuring Westerners from the future was debated. The original Godzilla director Ichiro Honda also criticized this film, film director's Kazuya Yomari and stated that he had gone too far. Amori, however, defended his artistic decision on camera, arguing that the film was not in fact meant to be an anti-American, stating the movie is not especially anti-US. I just thought I tried to picture the identity of the Japanese people, economic tensions between East and West were high at this time, and the negative publicity was very much a sign of the times. There you go, folks. That's the miss of the story. Really weird. Um, I'm not too much of a fan of this one. I Again, I'm not a fan of King Ghidorah. 
I just don't know why. I just don't care much for that creature. But that being said, it, it shot very well. Um, interesting story, if you like King Ghidorah. But that being said, there you go. This is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film a 6 out of 10. It's least of my favorites from the franchise from the 90s. So there you go. This is Gruesome Herzog. And I'm out of here.